Okay, a key thing that I want to speak to you about is consistency. Now, I'm going to show you consistency behind my head. Look at this. I can't see it actually with my glasses. Look at this picture here. I think this is the one. This is when I first started. I don't know why I'm looking there. I can turn around. <laughs> so stupid. You see this picture here? This is when I first died. This is 125.6 kilograms. This is when I was at my biggest. This is when I decided to lose weight. And as you can see, going along, I have a little chart here of when I started to lose weight. This picture is, I believe, at 108 kilograms. So between these two pictures, there is, my math isn't going to be good on this one, 18, 17 kilograms difference or whatever it is. Oh, 17, I got that bang on. 17 kilogram difference between these two pictures here. And between that picture, I think this is one of the first pictures I took. This was years ago when I was a much, much slimmer. And I think I am 80 or 90 kilograms here, 85, kil something around that region in this one. So I went from that to putting on huge amounts of weight to get to here, to thinking, Do you know what? This is not life being like this, to come into here. So then going to here, to here, to here, to here. And this is around the region I am, I'd say, today. I weigh, I think, this is 97.5 kilograms, this one? Yeah. And I weigh about that this morning. No, I weigh 90... I think that was exactly what I weighed this morning. About 97.1, 97.5. Either way, that region. But to get from here to here to here, the good point is consistency. That is literally the top tip I can give you consistency because if you're not consistent you don't make results and I always give the analogy of money because it's the easiest one for people to understand if you want to save up a thousand pound by the end of the year and you're saving a hundred pound a month you will hit that in 10 months just before the end of the year if you save up 20 pound every month and you're trying to hit a thousand you're not even near it you're at 240 pound you still have to get 760 pound and that is the same with weight loss. If you're being consistent every single month, your weight is gonna go down much quicker than the person who does a little bit of cardio, gets bored, puts a bit more weight back on, thinks, fuck it, I'm not gonna go back to gym because I'm putting weight on, what's the point? Then they get to a bigger size and they think, wow, I really need to do, lose weight now. And then they lose a couple of kilograms, they're like, wow, I look good, then they put it back on. It's that constant weight fluctuation because they never find something that they can stick to and be consistent with. They do these quick fix diets. Let me just drink juice for a couple of days. Let me just drink water for a couple of days. Let's do the cayenne pepper, honey, and whatever that other shitty thing water was. And the reason why you're losing weight and people say about chilies and thermo effect and the honey and the, the sugar, do you know why you lose weight doing these shitty diets? Because there's nothing in it. If I told you you got to drink a uh, drink, if I told you you got to eat 2,000 calories a day, and then I gave you a meal plan, which was a 300 calorie meal plan, you have under eaten by 1,700 calories. And then you do that for the month, and you think, wow, the weight has dropped off me. And the thing is, two things are gonna happen. One, you're gonna have huge amounts of excess skin. Because if you lose weight quickly and you're big, it, your skin doesn't, your skin has elasticity. Your skin has elastic. Your skin has elasticity. I can't say the word, I tried three times, never mind. You know what I'm trying to say. And when you drink water and everything, your skin tightens. So the bigger you are, the more water you drink and the slower you lose weight, the more your skin will go back to normal. It's these people who weigh 40 stone and they lose 10 stone in two months. And they do this crash diet, for example. And it causes every, you're literally just draining your body. So the skin doesn't have time to tighten and constrict. So you just have this huge excess skin. So one, you're gonna have huge excess skin. Two, if you're just trying to lose weight, you don't have huge amounts of weight, you won't have excess skin, but you won't stick to it. Because all that's gonna happen is when you eat that little amount, what people seem to forget is that food is fuel. Food contains, contains vitamins, contains everything that keeps your body going. So when you're putting no food in the tank, it's the equivalent of when your car has a little amount of petrol left and you're literally burning it to the end. Your car sounds fucked, like you've got exhaust, like massive exhaust fumes coming out because you're literally using the tail end of your fuel. You have this amount of energy left and you're draining it. And what you're doing is it starts to eat into your cartilage, your bones, everything. It's not healthy to eat that little. People think eating so little is gonna be great. All you're gonna do by the time you're 40, you're gonna have the bones of a 90 year old. You're probably gonna have arthritis plus, all of these fucking conditions to do with your bones because you're not giving yourself any nutrition. So make sure when you're being consistent, you find something you can stick to that isn't this shitty crash diet, isn't this shitty, I'm gonna eat one calorie a day and then, oh my God, I lost weight. How did I do that? Because you didn't eat for the day. If you starve yourself, of course you're gonna fucking lose weight because you're used to eating 3000 calories there and now you're eating none. So make sure when you're being consistent, you find something that, the exact word, you, can be consistent with. No one else, you. Because at the end of the day, I can sit here and tell you, do you know what? If you eat three apples a day, four kiwis and a banana, you're gonna feel great. You might hate kiwis, you might hate apples, you might hate bananas. So for you, you might wanna eat, I don't know, 
three pomegranates a day, two grapefruits a day, and one punnet of grapes. That might be your fruit intake for the day. Now, what I'm saying about that is that if that works for you and that is what you could be consistent with, do it. Because at the end of the day, if I sit here and tell you what I eat, I love hummus. So if I told you, oh, do you know what the best snack is? Hummus and crackers, low calories, low fat, low this, you may hate hummus. So me telling you to go eat hummus, you're not really consistent with that diet because that's not a diet for you. So consistency is based on what you can be consistent with. Not me, not someone else. I can advise you. I can tell you loads of things to be consistent with, but you need to find with all the stuff I give you, I always say take everything with a pinch of salt because everything that has worked for me, I'm giving you some of the baselines that will work for you in general. But then when it comes to food and stuff, everyone's different. I can give you stuff, as I said, that is the basic stuff, but you need to then further look into what makes it consistent for you. And as I said, you'll make results from that. So as always, peace and love. Listen to my advice, stick to it, be consistent and make them fat loss gains or their muscle gains.